females live longer than males. A lot of you guys ask me why I only keep females. This girl, yes, she successfully molted. Remember, you guys saw her in the previous watering video? Yeah, watering video part six. So as you can see, she is all fresh and very, very beautiful. Check out her color. This is my Grandma Stola Rosea. Look at her hairs. Now that is one beautiful looking tarantula. They're so prominent, those red colorations, those reddish hairs. Very, very prominent. I have done videos on how to sex tarantulas, but today, since this girl successfully molted, why not do another video showing all you newer subscribers on how to sex a tarantula? Because I do get a lot of comments still on asking me, can you do a video on how to sex a tarantula? I'm like, okay, sure. but. Oh my gosh, why did it? Okay, fine. Wind, why do you? <laughs> but yeah, I did videos on how to sex a tarantula. I think I did two or three videos. Can't quite remember, but they're like really, really old. So let's do another one. Those videos didn't get a lot of views. I mean, obviously, because a lot of you guys are new and those videos are old. Yeah, you see how the equation works. <laughs> but yeah, let's do another one today and show you guys by the way this is some nasty old superworm that she didn't eat i actually pre-killed this superworm before feeding her because well she was in primo and i just tried my luck to see if she would eat looks like she didn't so there you go superworm enjoy the garden <laughs> Although you're dead, I mean ants, ants, where are you ants? Enjoy that super worm. And for this girl, all right, so this girl, usually tarantulas after they molt, their abdomens are like really, really tiny and skinny. I don't know, a lot of mine happen to be like that. But this girl, she's like, after she molted, she's even more perfect looking like, whoa, 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 calm down, calm down, what the hell? I didn't even come near you, man, seriously. But yeah, like I mentioned, this is how you want your tarantulas to look like. Abdomen, not too big. Carapace, not too, I mean, okay, fine. Fine, really? I'm showing you to the people and you're like, fine, be that way, see if I care. Well, actually I do, but yeah. See if I care. As for the mold, hey, you, you forgot your water dish. You forgot your water dish. I'm gonna have to change that for you because it's a little bit depleted and I just depleted it even more. I'm sorry, but <laughs> that's up to me because I'm the one feeling it. What am I even saying? Seriously. So this girl is done with her mold and we'll take this mold and we'll show you guys how I sex a tarantula. No, not that sexing. <laughs> how to sex a mold as in how to tell if a tarantula is male or female. This mold is perfect. Like, usually when you want to sex tarantulas, you're gonna have to open up the abdomen, but this abdomen's already pretty much opened up. Look at that. Let's see if we can tell. Oh my gosh, this, these things are so light. Like, they don't even weigh a single gram. It's still pretty crispy though, but yeah, the abdomen looks okay for us to sex this tea. I mean, we can already see it from here, but I'll show you guys the process on what I usually do and what is easier for you guys to do if, say, your tarantula tarantula molds and the abdomen part is all crunched up and you have to open it. Yeah, let's go. I'll show you what to do. Oh yeah, before we sex this molt, let me show you guys what tarantulas usually do before they molt. Now, as you can see over here, okay, wait. What do you see over here? Moss, right? What do you see over here? Substrate and moss. <laughs> well, that's not the point. But you can see this part over here. You can see this part over here. It looks different from, let's say, over here because over here, there's a mat. There is like a little carpet. Yeah, see? Yeah, that is how tarantulas molt. They lay this layer of wet mat and then they will flip over and molt on that mat. I don't know why, it's probably because they don't want to get dirty or something, but I think it's pretty smart. That's a pretty smart move. All right, time to sex this mold. Usually my videos are straight to the point. I try to do that, but today I just started rambling all over the place. Sorry about that. But yeah, it's time to do what we made this, what we're making this video for. Oh my gosh, I was sitting where bird poop was. I think it was that bird. That sneaky, sneaky bird that's always ruining my video. That's probably his work, booby trapping me. Hey, where on earth are you? Seriously, you're gonna get in trouble, bird. I mean, <laughs> I wanted to do a video here and what the hell, seriously. So here's how we're gonna do it. I mean, here's how I usually do it. <laughs> get a container. A small container, you don't need a big one. Just something that can fit your mold. If your mold is a big one, then obviously get a bigger container. Why do I have to tell you this? <laughs> 
get a container, put one drop, just one drop of dish soap in, or you can use your hand soap, whatever, just put soap. You wanna put shampoo, put shampoo. You wanna put car detergent. Is it called detergent? I think it's called car shampoo. Yeah. Put your car shampoo in here, whatever it is, and then put water that will bubble up the soap, if that makes any sense. Of course it does. Then take your mold and dip it in. The reason you want to put soap is so that it makes it easier for the mold to absorb the water. Like, look at that. If you don't put soap and it's not bubbling, I mean, if you do put soap and it's not bubbling, your mold is just going to be floating on top of the water, the liquid or... <sighs> Yeah, it's just gonna be floating, okay? And then it's gonna take a much longer time for your mold to soak up all the liquid, which is obviously not what you want. You want it to absorb as quickly as possible unless you're a super duper patient person, which I'm not. So yeah, leave it in this soapy water for about, I would say, five to 10 minutes. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'll be back. And the hit part, yeah. This is the head of the tarantula. They molt out everything. They molt out the head. Oh my gosh, where did it go? <laughs> they molt out the head. They molt out the whole body. They even molt out their fangs. Yeah, their fangs. And everything is brand new, like transformed. New animal. But yeah, this head part came out of there when I threw the mold on the floor. My bad, sorry. You can go have your shower. <laughs> Be right back. So say five minutes have passed and well, this one was actually in here for about an hour because I totally forgot about it when I set it aside and whoops, I set it aside. Okay, fine, fine, <laughs> be that way. I set it aside and totally forgot about it for about an hour but yeah, we're back now. Once that has been sitting for about five minutes, get some water. <sighs> Okay, get some water and slowly take out the mold, dip it in the water or you can always use the sink to wash it and then lay it on a flat surface. It will be easier if you put this on like a styrofoam platform and you pin it down but you know, I'm a lazy person so on the floor works fine. <laughs> so now you see, the abdomen part is crunched up right? It's, it's like, how do I explain? Yeah, it's like that. So what you want to do is you want to open it or well, you want to spread it out and you can use anything that's sharp or narrow really. You can use a nail, you can use a pin, you can use a needle, I don't know, but I'm going to use a swivel. This is some fishing thing for those who don't know. This is a swivel and I'm a fishing geek so don't even question why I'm using a swivel. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is slowly spread this open. Oops, sorry, not in the right frame and wasn't focused. But yeah, spread this out just like this. Yeah, this mold is pretty much in perfect condition because a lot of times tarantulas will in fact break up this abdomen part. I don't even know. It's like they don't want me to find out what gender they are. Yeah. I don't know. Well, this one was a good individual, so she left it intact. There we go. Now, what you want to be looking for to determine the tarantula's gender is a little flap, which is in between the top two and bottom two book lungs. And if you don't know what book lungs are, they are these four white stuff. So you see the top part and then the bottom part, right in the middle over here, if your tarantula, oh my gosh, the sun, the sun, why, why, yeah. It's evening now, it's about 6 o'clock and the sun is about to set, so it's pretty whatever. So what you want to be looking for is this flap here. Okay, hope you're able to see this properly. Let me adjust the lighting a little bit. Yep, should be able to. Now, look at this part. Yeah, you see this flap? This flap will indicate that your tarantula is a female. So this tarantula is a confirmed Female, so that is awesome because females live longer than males. A lot of you guys ask me why I only keep females and why do I always send out my males for breeding or I sell them off. That's the reason because female tarantulas, they live between, depending on species, some live seven years, like the Neoholothele Inte, those guys live about seven years, I mean those girls, live about seven years, all the way to let's say a Brachypelma right? A Brachypelma homori. Those guys can live upwards to 30 years old. Yep, not 13. 3, 0. 30. Yeah, a spider living 30 years old. That's like older than I am. 
<laughs> but yeah, anyways, this is what you want. Oh my goodness, I just broke the leg. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I broke your leg. But yeah, as I was saying, this is what you want to be looking for. This little flap over here. If I'm not mistaken, that's called the spermatica. Sperm. I'll, I'll, I'll just write it like down below here. And well, if you guys don't know how to eat sexy tarantula, you learn something new every day. So I hope this video was helpful. If your tarantula is a male, it will not have this flap. It will just be a flat, flat abdomen. Can I say that? A flat, flat surface, okay? Flat surface. But if it's a female, you've got a little flap over here. Let me hold this on my finger and show you in... Uh, there we go, focused. Let me show you. There we go. Hopefully you can see better now. You see there's a little part coming up over there. Yep, that is the flap that you want to be looking for. So remember, those two white stuff on top, those two white dots, book lungs, and those two bottom ones, also book lungs. <laughs> but you want to see in between both of the top one, right in the middle, yeah? You see that little line over there? Yeah, you see? Yeah, that line over there. Check if there is a flap. And the reason why I soak this in the soapy water is to obviously soften the mold because molds when they dry up they're really crispy and once you open this when you try to open it when it's crispy it's gonna break and when it breaks you're pretty much screwed because you can't open it properly and it's gonna be in pieces so there we go that is how you determine a gender of a tarantula determine the gender of the tarantula so hope you guys learned something new today for those who don't know and those who've been asking and yeah that will be it for this video i hope you guys have a great one and and see you later. Yeah, that's the end of that molt. And my camera, because it's now all wet, because the molt is wet. Yeah. I'm a genius.